Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick. Today I'm going to show you how you can take the regular Dawn collection page and make it look a little bit better, add this nice curve, and call the action button. Uh, let's get started. There's only a couple files that we actually need to change. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my duplicated theme and I'm going to open up a file called theme.liquid. And then I'm going to paste in a uh, script that's going to load the material icons so that we can create the icon that we will use in the button right here, this arrow. So I'm going to paste this in here. And after saving that, I'm going to then open up this card-product.liquid file. So this card dot uh, card slash card hyphen product uh, file is what we see contains all of this here, which is looped through on the collections page. So I am going to come in here and I'm just going to add um, just a couple lines of code actually. So I'm going to scroll down to about line 35 here on card where we see this class card wrapper. And I'm going to add another class here. And you can name it whatever you want. Just make sure that it is unique because we're going to use this in our CSS selectors to uh, narrow down the style selectors that's going on. Because a lot of times with Shopify development, you have like base CSS files, for example, or global CSS um, files that set styles across the entire website. Um, and we don't want to interfere with any of those. So this unique uh, container class is going to come into play there. And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down a little further. Okay, and it took me a minute to find it, but what I'm looking for is line 98 right here. And uh, this is, to give you an idea, this is uh, where the image is um, contained. And so what we're going to do is add just a little bit of code here, a little bit of HTML. Awesome. And now, oh, and one final thing. We need to put the name of the icon, arrow outward. Perfect. And now if I save this, we can uh, paste in our CSS. So to do this, I'm going to add it to the base CSS file. And I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom. And I'm going to enter in a comment just so I can keep these this section of style separate if I ever need to reference it again. So I'm going to say collection, custom collection, design, and then I'm going to hit command uh, forward slash or question mark on a Mac, and then I think it's control question mark slash to add a comment there. And now I'm going to grab a big chunk of CSS that we can uh, paste in. Okay, so I've got it copied, and you're going to be able to copy all of this code from the GitHub link in the, descrip in the description. So um, I'm just going to paste it in here, and I'm going to save, and then we can take a look. Okay, so if we go to the preview and if we refresh, we can see that the button's here, and it looks awesome, except that you can't really tell. I mean, it looks a little weird because the background is all white. So to really see this, you either need... Um, the image to be not the same background, uh, same color as the background, or you need to change the background in this case. Um, and so depending on like what color scheme uh, you're using, you can come into the CSS and you can update um, these hexadecimal colors. So like this is the background that we have. And then there's also another uh, color purple for the button itself but you can just change those to match whatever your desired um, outcome is. So the uh, last thing that we need to do here to change that background is I'm going to open up the main collection product grid. And this is the section which is referencing our card product in it. And I'm going to sc actually scroll down to the schema here 
and I'm going to give it a different um, class name. So this is the syntax, if you're not familiar with uh, for giving a section a custom class name so that we can uh, target it in our CSS. And if we go to our CSS, you'll see that uh, at the top there, we're already uh, targeting this and setting the background. So now if I come back here and refresh, now you can see we have our um, new button and you can probably add some cool stuff here to make it a little bit more interactive, like make this button um, scale larger, or you can make this an add to cart button. It doesn't have to be, uh, currently it's just set to go to the uh, product page, but there's a lot that you can do here. Um, I wanna just highlight this beautiful uh, curvature that is here. We really have uh, this code pen from Kristen to thank for this. This is where the idea for this uh, came from. And you can see that it's uh, a really beautiful design, so I appreciate that. Um, but this has been a successful tutorial of creating a custom collection page uh, to add a little bit more style, uh, more color to the collection page. And please let me know if you have any thoughts or questions in the comments. Thanks for watching.